Okay, so we're going to talk about different flamenco styles, or what in the flamenco world is called palos. Okay, a palo means a stick, basically, but I think it means more like a branch. Okay, flamenco is a word that encompasses a lot, a lot of different styles. Palos or styles are different from each other, basically in tempo, meter, and key. Okay, you have the palos, they're in the 12 beat cycle. Okay, these are a little tough to handle because they're not in our usual three or four meter, they're in 12, okay? And the accents fall in different places. These are the palos like the soleares, alegrías, bularías, solea por bularías, even seguirilla is in a 12 beat meter. The flamenco styles that are in a four meter, or tangos, rumba being the more, one of the most popular ones, and three meter, like sevillana, is a very popular one, okay? But there are dozens and dozens of palos. All right, and each one originated in a different part of the south of Spain. Some carry the, the name of the city where they're derived from, like Malagueña is a palo in three that derives from the city of Malaga, and Sevillana is a palo in three also that derives from the city of Seville, and so on. Fandango is also a popular palo that derives from a city called Huelva, they call it Fandangos de Huelva, it's also in three. And rumba is a very popular palo. We've talked about it before. It's one of the most international and popular palos. Uh, it's in four. And it's very popular in the north east of Spain, in the area of Catalonia and the south of France in that region. So those are the palos that comprise the word flamenco. Okay, they're all flamenco, and I encourage you to listen to all of them and see which ones you like the most. Mm -hmm.